All right, let me turn my light off so I'm not blinding you. It's about quarter to nine at night. There's some coyotes howling out in the distance, but I'm down by my barn. Got the lights on in here. Over the chicken coops over there. And uh, I'm just doing a little video with my phone tonight. And um, what I'm doing is smoking some lake trout. Uh, my father went fishing and caught some real nice lake trout. Last night we smoked a whole bunch. I had all three racks in my refrigerator smoker that I made uh, out, of a, out of an old 38 refrigerator. Um, we had all three racks filled up. We smoked until about 10 o'clock at night. A lot of fish. So tonight I've got the last little bit of it. It's only one one layer, one tray, one rack in the in the smoker. And um, what we do is we, we brine it with salt and brown sugar and then we rinse it off or just wipe it off with your hands. It depends if you, you don't like the salt really salty then you rinse it off and um, we put it down here in the, the smoker and let it smoke at about 145 degrees normally about two to three hours. Um, last night we had some trouble with the smoker just still figuring it out. I've never smoked that much fish, fish or meat or anything in there uh, like we had last night. So a little trouble getting the smoke rolling, but we got it going good tonight. Um, so what I'm going to show you is kind of the end product. We've got um, some smoke rolling out of the chimney right now. It's the last uh, last tray of fish, and uh, it's just about done. Let me show you the smoke. Coming out the chimney real good. But, um... At 147 degree temperature, and it was just about done smoking. And what I did was open the door up and rubbed it all down with honey, so I glazed it, and then uh, some cracked pepper on it. And I'm gonna let that go for probably another five or ten minutes, and then I'm gonna pull it all out and take it up to the house, and we'll vacuum seal it. But just wanted to give you guys a peek of it and this winter when I catch some more lake trout ice fishing hopefully I'll give you the whole process of the smoking and everything but you can see there's plenty of smoke in it and close up in here look at that that looks pretty good that's the last tray Right there, last night we had three trays in here, and they were all packed so tight. You know, just a little bit of space around the fish. We had all, all the way up to these these knobs, three layers. But anyways, I'll pull that off, and I'll probably put a, put a little more cracked pepper on it. I like it with a lot of pepper. And I uh, just thought I would share, share what I got going on. Um... Like I said, I'll do a video of the whole brining process and something uh, later on when I catch some fish. <laughs> and uh, we were kind of strapped for time between work and trying to make everything happen with schedules and get all this fish smoked. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. And someday we'll post a video showing the whole process. I thought it'd be pretty cool to share that tonight. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.